What's the work of Litvak and Partners? Is there a typical client for you? Yeah, absolutely. I mean, we are a, a niche practice. We are a boutique law firm with two areas of practice very well defined. One is investment funds and capital markets in general, where we set up uh, offshore funds for Latin American clients or for non-Latin American clients doing business in Latin America. That's one area. And the other is private client work, where we advise families or family offices in the establishment of trusts or other you know, estate planning vehicles. We also have uh, a Uruguayan practice where we provide services to clients dealing with in Uruguay and registering like broker dealers as financial institutions, but it's all relating to you know, uh, finance and private client work. So what is the private equity landscape like in Latin America? Well, it's been a new industry and it has been booming for some time because as there were less and less opportunities in Europe or the state to invest, investors are shifting into Asia and Latin America. So there are great opportunities in the region especially in countries where people are by nature very entrepreneurial, like for example Argentina or Brazil. Those are the places together with Colombia or Peru which concentrates the, the private equity investment in the region. You have only a couple of funds which are active in Uruguay, whereas if you go to Argentina or Brazil you have really tons of you know, private equity funds uh, ready to invest. Uh, in Argentina that's a business that started back in the 90s with all the dot-com area where you know, uh, we have all, the, all these investments into dot-com companies, and same in Brazil. So uh, those are the main, the main countries, but still, it's, it's a growing industry for the region as a whole. So what are the star performing sectors or industries in your region at the moment? Well, it, it, it varies from country to country, to be honest. I mean, and most of the countries in South America are, you know, have been doing very well in terms of agriculture. Also, the mining industry in some countries, tourism industry, and in some countries like Uruguay or Brazil, IT, it's a business software development. It's also an industry which is growing. And the other one is very interesting. Outsourcing is a business where Uruguay is trying to get into. Uh, even the tourism area is, is growing a lot. The Uruguayan Investments Law was passed in 1998. Is that still the main piece of legislation foreign investors need to know about? Yes, I mean, uh in Uruguay, foreign investors need to know also about uh, changes that have occurred over the last five years or four years in terms of taxation. And also they need to know about uh, new registration rules with the central bank if they are coming to set up a broker dealer or a financial advisor. What one piece of essential advice would you give to investors who are uh, looking to do business in your region? Well, I think that uh, one way to start this business is to partner up with a local company. It's much better to buy or purchase a portion of a local company than to invest uh, from scratch on, on a new on a new entity. I think, uh, especially if you come from Europe uh, or the States, or you're not that used to what an emerging country looks like. It's, it's difficult to get licenses. Well, it's not difficult, but it takes time. In, in Uruguay, for example, everything is very transparent. In other countries, it's much more complicated to get a license to do certain business. But I think the, the best way is to partner up with somebody who has been successful, who knows the market, learn about the market, learn about the culture, the region, and then maybe on a, on a second phase, uh, has, uh, create your own structure. Martin Litvak, thank you very much. You're welcome, thank you.